But I have a question for you guys. Which monitor are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Asus ProArt PA278CV – Best for the Money Starting off, we have the Asus ProArt PA278CV. This one is good for media creation. The 1440p resolution delivers a sharp image and the 27-inch size offers plenty of space to open multiple windows side by side. It has an excellent color gamut with good coverage of the Adobe RGB color space, though it may not be enough for professional photo editing. On the upside, it has wide viewing angles, so the image stays accurate from almost any angle. It also has extra features like a built-in ruler and screen overlays to help measure and align content. Build quality for the Asus PA278CV is as expected, excellent, since there are no cosmetic defects and every panel meets without any gaps. The device feels sturdy, even if it's mostly made of plastic, just like the brand's other premium products. We also didn't notice any wobbling from the stand, since it's capable of holding the monitor up properly. The Asus PA278CV sports a 27-inch IPS panel with a 2560x1440 resolution, a 75Hz refresh rate, and a 5 millisecond response time. The backlight is rated at 350 cd per meter squared, while the contrast ratio is still at 1000 to 1 like most IPS panels. The model is a pro-art monitor, so it focuses on image quality rather than HDR or gamer-centric capabilities. It's tough to list faults from the Asus PA278CV, since it's a great monitor overall with a very reasonable price. Number 4. Dell Ultrasharp U2720Q – Best for Most People if ergonomics are important to you and you want something with a better stand, look into the Dell Ultrasharp U2720Q. It doesn't have VRR support like the LG 27UK 650W, but its stand offers a wide swivel range. It's very similar to the LG in terms of picture quality. It has a 4K 27-inch screen with excellent grey uniformity, wide viewing angles and decent colour accuracy. It has great coverage of the Adobe RGB color space, which is ideal for photo editors, and it displays a wide color gamut for HDR content. Unfortunately, it's not a great choice for darkroom viewing because it has a low contrast ratio, but this is expected from an IPS panel. On the other hand, it performs fairly well in bright rooms because it gets bright enough to combat glare, but it may struggle with direct sunlight on it. It has several HDR settings, display HDR, movie HDR, and game HDR. It's worth experimenting with them to see which you find the most pleasing. The Dell Ultrasharp U2720Q is a good monitor for most uses. It's a great choice for any productivity task as it provides enough screen real estate to have multiple windows open simultaneously, and its 4K resolution makes text and images look incredibly sharp. It really is one of the best monitors for Mac in the market. Number 3. BenQ PD2705Q – Best for Creatives for those aiming for a wide color gamut with a decent contrast range but not that interested in a high refresh rate, then IPS or in-plane switching panels are the obvious choice. A great example of how IPS technology can be tweaked to deliver a wide spectrum is the new BenQ PD2705Q, a monitor designed laser-focused on those that work with color professionally and use a variety of techniques to enhance chromatic accuracy and consistency. The PD2705Q comes in just three main parts that consist of the foot, the support, and the panel. The PSU is internal, as we prefer, and there isn't any annoying and easy-to-break plastic cover over the ports. The PD2705Q is a 27-inch display that offers 2560x1440 or Quad HD and can be configured to 10-bit or 12-bit with HDMI 2.0 color representation with dithering from within the GPU driver configuration if the driver software offers those options. The IPS technology used in the panel has excellent 178-degree viewing angles, and with the 140 mm of vertical travel on the stand, it's possible to use the PD2705Q in portrait mode just as easily as landscape. For those editing photos or working with printed graphics, there is plenty to like here, especially if they use an Apple Mac alongside a desktop computer. The color representation is much better than a typical office monitor, even if most of the extended color gamut leans towards the red side of the spectrum. Number 2. Asus ZenScreen MB16A HP Best Portable Monitor for Productivity 
If you're used to having a touchscreen on your laptop display, there's no reason you can't have one on your second monitor as well. As the name suggests, the Asus ZenScreen Touch is the touch-enabled version of the Go model, with almost exactly the same specifications. The ZenScreen Go MB16 AHP 15.6-inch 16-9 portable IPS monitor from Asus is a slim and compact display that's easily transportable for use on the go. With a USB Type-C connection, it supports both power and video, so you won't have to carry additional cables. Users can also opt for its micro HDMI port if needed. Moreover, it has a 7800 mAh built-in LiPo battery that can last up to four hours of use. Specs-wise, it's built with an IPS or in-plane switching panel that features a 1920x1080 Full HD resolution, an 800 to 1 static contrast ratio, and a 220 CD per meter squared brightness rating for crisp, clear details and vivid colors. There's the same 1920x1080 resolution on a 15.6-inch display, the same internal battery so you don't have to draw power from your laptop, and the same muted color palette that's common to pretty much every portable monitor except the ThinkVision M14. Weighing only slightly more than its non-touch sibling, if you're looking for the best portable touchscreen monitor for Mac, you've found it in the Asus ZenScreen Touch. Number 1. BenQ EX3501R – Best Overall Moving on, we have a great ultra-wide monitor from BenQ. The EX3501R is one of the best ultra-wide monitors available. BenQ has done a great job when it comes to monitors in the past 10 years. The EX3501R is one of them. It has great features and it's an amazing choice for those who want great gaming experiences and for those who work as graphic designers, photo or video editors, etc. This ultrawide monitor has a very beautiful design. The thin bezels at the sides and top make it look even better and they complement the edge-to-edge -edge display. It has one DisplayPort 1.4, two USB 3.1 ports, two HDMI 2.0 ports, a headphone jack and a USB Type-C port. This monitor is positioned as a video enjoyment monitor, which means the content it displays, the large screen, are the stars of the show, and the rest of the monitor's design is just brilliant. It has the Brightness Intelligence Plus technology, which features a built-in sensor that automatically adjusts the brightness and color temperature according to the ambient lighting and the on-screen content, and this is one of the best features that this ultra-wide monitor has. It also has HDR mode, which is not true HDR, but can make the colors pop, definitely one of the best monitors for Mac. Buying Guide Knowing Your Budget Whenever you're shopping for any computer hardware, knowing your budget is the first thing you should do. Monitors can vary considerably in price and some features are simply not going to be found below a certain price point. By knowing how much you have to spend, you can narrow down your available options very quickly and you can focus your search on those features that are available in your price range. Most importantly, this will also allow you to prioritize those features that matter the most for your specific needs. Versatility Many displays feature a built-in stand as well as the ability to wall mount it or mount it onto a custom display stand. Ideally, ensure a display has a tilt and swivel stand so that you can easily adjust it to achieve the best possible viewing angle. Additionally, some manufacturers such as Dell include mounts that rotate, so you can even have your external display in portrait. Size Size is an important factor depending on your needs and lifestyle. Large display monitors are good for presentations and gaming, while smaller or medium-sized ones are useful for people who travel often or attend school because they're easier to carry around. The sweet spot is a mid-sized 12 to 17-inch monitor, which is easy to carry around as you travel, good for entertainment, and doesn't easily get damaged like